What's up, everybody? This is uh, Fred Rojas from the B Team, and I was just doing a quick video because I have uh, finally picked up my Pit Fighter arcade machine. Um, let's get a little bit of light going over here so you guys can take a look at it. But as you can see, this is the original cab. It has uh, three players, three buttons each, which uh, for my future endeavor, which I'll talk about in a second, it's going to be very useful. Got everything from the original Pit Fighter uh, money cash thing to the bezel, to the marquee, and even down to the uh, coin door, which uh, this thing needs a little bit of work. One thing it needs is a lock, so I'll take care of that soon. But uh, anyway, without further ado, just so we can check it out, let's uh, cut the lights again and uh, take a look at this bad boy in action. Uh, power switch is way up on the ceiling to make it nice and difficult. So as you can see, marquee lights up, no problem. In a second here, we will... Uh, Get a visual on the screen. All right, there we go. As you can see, the one big thing you're looking for in uh, arcades is that the buttons work, and that the uh, that your your screen looks good. This is a 25-inch screen, and uh, no burning. Uh, so uh, that's very good because that happened to these games a lot, especially if you ran them for a long time. So on the plus side, this guy, if you've ever played Pit Fighter, you kind of know what this is like. This guy wasn't probably pretty very popular. And as a result, he hasn't, uh, you know, seen too much loving, and therefore uh, his screen's good. So we'll just start this up real quick, give you guys, you know, kind of a look at how this works. So you have three guys. Just pick someone. Always my favorite, Kato. Just get this started. As you can see, like, for the time, it was very pre mortal combat and things like that. But yeah, so that's what uh, Pit Fighter looks like. Let's step aside for a second. Anyway, so, and in the back here you can see it's a uh, fully working kind of jamma cab. Anyway, what I'm really planning to do with this bad boy is uh, get them all set up to be a main cab. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, a main cab is uh, basically a arcade that will play uh, every kind of arcade game through a computer. And uh, the way you uh, the way you best get that uh, to work is you can take a machine such as this and insert a computer with it through a little attachment called a J-Pack. Um, but arcade purists out there will tell you time and time again that uh, their biggest concern is that they don't want you to strip this cabinet. So while I may uh, change the marquee out, and i got to be honest with you, there's pretty high likeliness that guy's going away. Um, for the most part, I intend to keep this cab in good shape. And uh, since all these work, um, I'll probably keep this keypad. I might switch it out later for a different... Um, arcade uh, console so that I can get more buttons and stuff like that for the Street Fighter games and things like that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep it this way. So I just figured it would be important to do a little before video so that people can see, you know, kind of how this thing looked beforehand. It's not going to look very different afterwards, but once I get all the MAME stuff up and running. Um, but again, uh, Keeping everything intact and keeping the arcades in the, their original quality is always uh, number one for me as well as a lot of other uh, you know, arcade gamers. So uh, anything I do is completely undoable. There are no modifications that will be made to the actual cabinet itself uh, so that I ensure that I can get it back to perfect working order um, before and if I ever get rid of it. So anyway, so there's the cab before, and uh, hopefully within a week or so I'll be able to show, you know, some more progress and uh, what it looks like with uh, MAME running on it. So there you go.